Hello and thank you so much for joining me today. I have got my latest design team package from Alina and I can't wait to share it with you. I've already been playing with some of it. I couldn't wait. I literally had it come through the door. I opened it all up. I put the kids on tablets and I just started die cutting. And I was so excited to get this one. Um, she sent me a picture beforehand and said, are you happy? Would you like all of this? And I just got really excited about it all. So let's get started and let me share with you what I got. So I'm going to start with this die set here and I apologize because of the reflection but um, I don't really want to get all of it out. Um, as you can see on her website, I'll put the links down below and you can go check it out. This is another one of those really epic, amazing um, die sets that comes with an absolute ton of dies. So as you can see, you've got like all your base ones, all of these ones and what it makes. So what it makes is you can make your own file of facts, notebook, um, diary. You can make it yourself from scratch and you can also make a box to hold it in. So this die set comes with both um, the dies that you need to make the book and the decorative box to give it to someone in like the, the gift box for it or storage box. Um, but it also is designed so that this storage box will also fit the books she sells. So this book here, I have no idea if it's actually leather or not. It does feel like it, but it could be a fake leather. I have no idea. More than likely it is fake leather, otherwise it'd be a lot more expensive. So we'll scratch that. It's gonna be sort of that fake leather, but it feels really good quality. Stitching is really nice on it. And this is an A5, between A5 and A6, um, file of facts journal type thing. Um, in her shop she lists as A6. Um, it definitely is a UK sort of A5 but your papers are quite small like they're quite narrow so I would say this is more A5 UK size um, but in the world of file faxes I was googling for ages to look up like pages and papers and all that kind of stuff I was really struggling <laughs> so um, I've got this one but then I also went and purchased a second one so Alina sent me one for free as part of my design team um, but I really wanted another one because I have a friend in mind who I'd like to give it to so I thought I'll get one for me and one for a friend so I purchased the second one and she stuck that in my package and sent it with this one for me um, so I can't wait to fill these up I've already been having a play and have been putting some designer papers in um, and having to play with measurements and sizes um, and I plan to make a few different things to put inside it um, I want to do some like page dividers I want to see if I can make my own ruler to go in it I had a look online and even on AliExpress insert pages were just so costly like I just couldn't justify spending even three pounds on something like 25 sheets of paper, 40 sheets of paper, when I have got all those kinds of papers at home and I could just make it myself. So I will share with you and do a little tutorial on how I'm gonna fill this book and share with you how to do that um, in one of my videos coming up soon. So I've got that book and one for a friend. Then I started making my own. I've got this really thick cardstock that I got from Lime Tree Crafts. It's 500 GSM, massively thick, like on the verge. It's, it's probably the same thickness or slightly thicker than a cereal box kind of um, cardstock. So I started making my own little um, file of faxes uh, to um, put into my own little gift box and make my own gift box. So I've been having fun with that. This is, I'm going to do sort of some Christmas themed ones and I might give some to friends as like sort of Christmas books. Um, and then I started having a go at making my own inserts because those were also really costly from Amazon, um, and from AliExpress and all over the place. So I will teach you how to make these once I kind of master it. Um, and make some up but these the idea if you watch Alina's channel and her tutorial on how to make them up um, she has pre-bought ones I've cut and measured mine so that I get the most width and length as possible to fit my book but I'll do three signatures and have them inside like that um, and then I'll have these little kind of Christmas books um, so I was having to go with that I've got some of that thick cardstock in the brown and I've got this cute little like penguin paper I picked up last year and so I thought I would stick that on it die cuts you get the die cuts to do the 
books and then also the sort of layering um, as you can see there. So I've been having lots of fun playing with that and obviously die cutting out quite a few different covers. This is a small selection. Um, and then working on my paper inserts as well. So I can't wait to share this die set with you. It's another one that you just get absolutely tons in. Um, so that will be a tutorial coming up very, very soon. So next up I've got a bunch of the new dies. I have not managed to cut them out this time just because I was too excited about the other ones and spent all my time doing that. So uh, we've got a bunch of word dies and I will list the links down below um, so that you can have a look at them. And on the screen you can see what they say. Then we have these ones. So there's two sets of word dies. Then some of you were a bit upset because I used these in one of my videos and they were no longer available. They're from Hobbycraft. Um, but Alina has got a little set and these are great because they've got the outer layer so you could do like shaker cards with them. So you've got your inner and then you've got a separate outer layer that you can pull off. Um, so you could do those. Various set of ice creams. Then we've got the word summer which also comes with a shadow die which I love. Some stunning butterflies. Really love butterflies. Then we've got this one here. And these little squares are so cool. They're layering squares, so they are small. So these squares are two inches by two inches or five centimeters by five centimeters. Um, and so you can either use them individually or you can layer them on top of each other. So they're really cute. Then we've got these two square ones here and they are 12 by 12 centimeters or just over four and a half by four and a half inches. Um, and they've just got those two different patterns and they also come with their outer edge. So you can either cut it straight into the paper or if you use it with the outer edge, then you can cut um, that shape as a square. So those are the new dies, which is exciting. Okay, so I have to backtrack. <laughs> <laughs> I completely forgot about all the accessory stuff that Alina sent me. Now, I did purchase half of this, just so, <laughs> so you know. She's great though, because I'll often purchase things and then I will cheekily say, can you just chuck it in my design team package because I know <laughs> that ships faster. <laughs> um, her shipping is amazing and it comes really quick anyways. It's normally about two or three weeks. Um, but I figure if she's sending my design team package, then possibly she can save a bit of postage. Um, and also, it also might come a little bit quicker for me. So all these sequins are ones that I purchased. Um, I've been looking at sequins on her website for ages, and I'm sorry, the glare is going to be horrendous. There are some duplicates in here because there's some colors that I just love that I wanted to get more of. Um, her sequins are really good value, and in the UK I was struggling to find any that were sort of as good a value and as good a quality. Um, so I just thought, never mind, I'll just buy them all from her. So I have plans for these to go into some craft packs that I am making. And so I just purchased a big bulk load of sequins from her shop and they all arrived very quickly. Um, and I love her sequins. So these are just bog standard sequins um, in various colours. They come in packs of two. And so I just picked the ones that I like the most that went with my sort of project in mind. Um, the next thing I purchased was some more of these charms. So in my design team package, I don't even know how long ago, it was quite a long time ago, I got one of these bundles as part of my design team package. They're just little metal charms, they're really cute, lots of little sweet things. I've been using them on journals and books. I've been using them as little charms. My daughter's nicked a couple to make necklaces out of. There's probably a good hundred or so in this pack. There is a lot in here. Now some I won't use and so some I've just sort of put in my charity box donation or my box to kind of give away um, when I go to any kind of craft groups. They usually have sort of a what box where you can just chuck in stuff you don't want and then have a dig through and find stuff you do want. Um, so I'll just put them in there. But this is a cracking bargain. I love everything in here and everything in here has got a hole in it so you can use it as a charm and there's just, I mean there's just something for everything. There's like a beautiful little heart, there's butterflies, there's just loads and so I bought another one of these um, sets and Alina sent it with my design team package for me 
who has a mustache. <laughs> um, so this is one that I've purchased, but I love it, and I love supporting Alina. Um, and so if I like something she sent me, I usually try and buy it if I would like some more of that. So next are these leather straps. These are bits of leather, and I forgot <laughs> all about these. So you can use these when making the book. So if you pop over to Alina's channel and you watch her tutorial, she puts three eyelets in and then runs this leather through to hold in her signatures. So I have got some of this leather to try out um, and use. You get quite a lot. You get these like two bundles in there. I think you buy them in packs. Um, oh no, it comes in packs of two. That's what it was. It wasn't packs of two colors. It was packs of two bundles. Um, and now she said it's leather. It does feel like leather. It's really lightweight. I had a lot of this stuff as a kid growing up. My best friend Chelsea and I used to go to like the leather shop where they make saddles and things and you could always buy off cuts and they always had strings like this. <laughs> and we used to load up on it. So I am telling you, I've got hordes of this crap hiding out in Canada. <laughs> um, but obviously I'm not gonna nip home and grab it. <laughs> so I asked Alina for some. And yeah, it's quite strong, a little bit stretchy, like tiny, tiny bit stretchy. Um, but it is on her site as leather, um, but you get two bundles. So I got it in the pink and I got it in gray, like sort of a light to dark gray. And I got it in brown and obviously it's like a dark brown. Um, so I plan to use this to attach my signatures into my book. And she's got a ton of different colors that you can have a look at. Then she has a whole bunch more sequins in her shop, which is so funny because I've been trying to buy loads of these kind of shapes where you get all the same color in each pack because it drives me bananas when you get like this sort of fruit shapes pack. Um, and then there are like a whole bunch of different fruits, but your projects in purples and then also you've got, you know, orange and yellow and purple and all different colors. Um, so I love that she's got some of these shapes in her shop now that are just a big bundle of them. So you get, it's on the screen how many you get in each pack. These are little carrots, I believe. They're quite sweet. And they're just really fun shaker elements. So these are just little carrots and they're really quite sweet. And you get a whole bunch in your little bag. And then I also got the envelopes because I thought this would be really fun for some happy mail to send to a friend. You can send them like a shaker card with a whole bunch of envelopes in. How fun is this? Like you just get all these little teeny tiny envelopes and they're all that like polymer clay I think is what it's called. Um, but they're really cute so they've kind of got like a little red heart in the middle, um, black and white. And you just get a massive pack of these like this is a small portion of the pack and I could use probably half of that on a shaker card or even less. So really fun. Then last but not least Alina was so kind. I sent her a message. I did a video and a little tutorial on using Alina's um, embossing powders and I will link that down below and I'll try and link it at the end of the video as well. Make sure to check it out. I've done a review and I compared her embossing powders to three other companies and I posted the results on my channel. A very, very honest review. I wanted to make sure I did a very honest review. Um, but I sent her a message because I was so impressed with the embossing powders for an AliExpress item I couldn't tell the difference between my name brand embossing powders and hers. So I said, I think I want to purchase the rest of them, fully intending to buy the rest of them um, because I did really like them. So I said, I want to get the rest of your colors. Um, and so I've got them in my stash and I can use them. And she basically said, don't be silly, I'll send them to you. <laughs> and then <laughs> send them all on my design team. So I now have the whole entire collection. I've already got the gold, the purple and the um, teal, I believe. I dig them out, but I'm not 100% sure where I put them. <laughs> I think they're in with my embossing powders. But now I've got uh, clear, I've got red, I've got yellow, black, um, blue, white. She sent me another gold and a silver. <laughs> um, I won't complain. The gold was very nice. Now, I don't know if you can tell from here. I posted this in my video, so make sure to watch it. It's based on weight. So some of the pigments way more than other pigments. So as you can tell, the clear one has got loads in the jar, the white one doesn't have as much, or the red, 
and the blue and that's just because of the pigment now a lot of art companies and proper companies do the same thing so Arteza um, when they sent me their mica powders several of them were much smaller amounts appeared much smaller amounts um, than other jars and that is purely because it's based on weight of the product um, and pigments weigh different amounts but embossing powders last a long time you can get a lot of embossing out of one jar so don't be stressed out if you get your jars and they look smaller than others that is all part of how the product comes together because it's based on weight so head over to my video check out my little review and tutorial on how to use these embossing powders if you would like to see what they work like and how they are I plan to use these in future videos um, uh, whenever I make some projects that require these colors um, and I will share with you how they go and I will try and also do a little swatch um, to share with you at some point as well of what the colors look like when I have embossed with them so thank you again so much for joining me and I will see you in the next video. Bye.